Mr. President, the, the NGO community that I represent in this upper chamber stands for transparency, accountability, and long-term planning. Uh, these, Mr. President, are core values and principles that we all strive to pursue as we work our contributing to a sustainable human development. So we expect, Mr. President, we, we, we demand that both political parties live up to these same core values and principles. It is time to shape up and start giving the Belizean people the level of, govern, of governance that we deserve. The truth of the matter is that both governments have made, if we want to say, some questionable decisions. And we can also say that one government started the mess and the other added to the mess. That is the truth of the matter. We can't hide from that. As a result now, Mr. President, we are now at a place where we must ensure the protection of our assets and hence the reason for this bill. Failure to do so will surely be detrimental to our people and our country's economy. And there be, may be lots of repercussions if we don't do what is necessary. But the bottom line is that we are now between the devil and the deep blue sea.